Welcome to another episode of Eric's Camping Adventure. I am out fiddling in my garage again today and I saw a great video on cheap RV living about a little camping hack um, for a little buddy, Mr. Heater. I was like thinking, you know, that is a little bit more my size for heating my rooftop tent and maybe even my motorhome during winter camping. So I uh, saw what they did uh, on one of his later episodes here, maybe a few weeks ago. And uh, they built a little tiny little platform here, uh, mounted the uh, little buddy right here on the platform, took the gas filter and screwed it in beneath kind of as a way to clamp it to the uh, platform and it just worked out great. Um, I have been struggling with, <laughs> with this thing forever. It is way too much heat for my rooftop tent. Um, it's actually too much heat for my RV. So um, I have it. So if it's really cold, maybe I'll need it. But uh, for now, the little buddy, the little buddy actually seems to be uh, the better option for my needs. Um, so it just sits on the platform. So this actually is a great little uh, response to my need to have a smaller heater, but not have um, the ability to tip it over so easy sitting on the little uh, one pound canister. So this thing, it is just rock solid stable. You can see it here. The new uh, little buddy heater actually has a new feature to it where it shuts off if it tips too much. So. Uh, I think this is just about the perfect solution that, you know, frankly, <laughs> I couldn't come up with the solution on my own. Um, I was a little bit uh, hesitant to try it. But after I thought about how firm that little threading is going into the filter and how firm it is sitting on here, I'm just like, yeah, this is the solution to my, uh, my concern. So maybe it helps you. Um, gives you some ideas. Uh, it doesn't take very long to uh, cut some wood, um, brace it, and uh, put it together. Sitting on the platform, it just looks pretty good there, nice glowing and warm. As you come in closer, you can see the uh, platform just sits there. You see the top of the filter just fitting through the hole. When you come underneath, you can see the wider flange on the filter kind of becomes the anchor. And there is the hose. And I, I made it five inches high because I didn't want to bend the hose just too much. So uh, anyway, I decided to leave the ends open, different from the way that Bob did it on his uh, show, because that way I can allow that little extra space underneath there to be used, as well as if I want the hose to come out the front or the back, depending on whether I'm using it and how I'm positioning it in my tent, car, or my motorhome. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Hopefully it gives you some ideas about some kind of a camping hack. I am not <laughs> certifying this even as a DIY video. I'm just saying this is one of my crazy ideas that uh, um, were just uh, really an informed crazy idea that I stole from Bob Wells and <laughs> he stole it from someone else. So uh, anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for some more.